Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to install XFCE, a Windows Manager, on Ubuntu server. I like the idea of starting my Windows Manager from the same base, which in this case is Ubuntu Server 18.04, which is the long-term support version. I do this to minimize the differences between Ubuntu Server and XUbuntu, as they have different tools installed uh, to start off with. This will actually save me time when I'm writing my Ansible scripts. I don't think you would do this if you weren't a web developer or a system administrator, because uh, the main goal is to match uh, our VPS. I recommend you go to my full article I've written to complement this video at my website, nickyeoman.com. There you'll see reference to the script that I downloaded from my GitHub account. In this Ansible playbook, I use app to install XFCE4, Firefox, screensavers, and some packages for the GUI user management. I also intend to always run this from a VirtualBox guest, so I installed the guest packages along with make and GCC. Last, I grab a wallpaper kind of to introduce how to automate and grab files with Ansible. So next, we're going to run the playbook. Uh, so you do Ansible playbook, you do dash I. For the host you want to run it on, don't forget the comma because it's an array. Uh, the user you want to log into using SSH, and the K is the file, the playbook that you want to run. Uh, and then enter your normal SSH password as if you're logging into the server. So this will gather the facts, it'll install XFCE, it'll copy that wallpaper. And that's it, it's all installed. Uh, next let's install, uh, because we're running the GUI, uh, I want to install the uh, restricted extras. Um, because that would come with Xubuntu. 2 doesn't come here. We don't want to run that through Ansible because uh, it gives us a prompt. Uh, we could, but maybe some people don't want the restricted extras, so I just do it this way. And that takes a little bit to install. Here's the uh, agreement that you have to agree to. And you just hit tab and then OK and then use your arrow keys and hit yes. OK, and we're ready to start uh, the X server. So I zoomed out here uh, because I am in a virtual box. And you'll notice that uh, it doesn't resize automatically. Uh, that's because we have to do a reboot uh, before all the uh, the kernel updates for the uh, VirtualBox guest system will work. But after a reboot, uh, because we ran the Ansible script, uh, once we log in, we should be able to start X again and then get the full XFCE in full screen. And of course, if you resize the VirtualBox, uh, it'll resize with the window manager. There we go. A fully working uh, XFCE in under five minutes. So let's open a terminal because that's the best thing ever. <laughs> and you can see the file manager is the same file system, obviously. And desktop settings, there's my wallpaper. We'll set that. Boom, Captain Picard. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you had a great time. Uh, that's how you install XFCE on Ubuntu server in under five minutes.